it's Dark Arts Month, or otherwise known as Halloween to those of us who don't care for Harry Potter. But for us, we do. So today I am doing a little PR unboxing from Warner Brothers. <music> Potterpuffs, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing something sent to me by Warner Brothers and I'm very excited. Today I want to unbox this big box of goodies. Now I've left a link in the description for where you can get most of these things. This isn't sponsored, this was a gifted PR product so therefore it's up to me what I say about it and I'll be honest with you guys but the overall theme of these Warner Brothers products are of course dark arts so let's get started now thank you so much recently for all of the new subscribers last time i said we had gained another 70 i think in the last month we've gained over 300 and something so if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe turn on that notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it next week and i've been filming it this week I have got a week in the life vlog for you. So that will be coming out next. I've got a pin collection coming up and also a craft update. So lots of different things. My channel consists generally of Harry Potter and lifestyle now. You will see more lifestyle content from me. I'm a very creative person, so lots of that is coming. And of course, some Harry Potter stuff, which you know and love. Let's lift the lid off this box. I actually really like this box, okay? This is the perfect thing for me to store something creative in. And we have very fitting tissue paper, black of course. Now I am a Hufflepuff, so Dark Arts Month isn't generally my vibe, but it is in October. So what have we got? I'm gonna tip it up, I think it's around the wrong way. Here we go, you can see some of the products here. And the first one I'm going to look at, Ooh. let's put it down is this now this is a black t-shirt i believe it's unisex and let's see what it looks like Ooh. i don't know why i'm saying oh i haven't seen it yet um so that has a big dark mark on it perfect for this month black a very wearable color what i do like the best about this actually is it matches my hair a little bit I forgot to address the hair, that's really funny. So if you're on my Instagram, you will have noticed that I put up a post about this, but I dyed my hair uh, last week. Again, it is in my vlog, so you're seeing my hair before you kind of see the video. Um, and this is the color it went, interestingly. This didn't happen by mistake. I went a bit crazy in the hair salon and we decided on lots of funky colors. And then I came out looking like an Okami. So this is the first time I've had crazy colours and I hope you enjoy them because I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it. But more information on that next week. But I look like an Okami. We've got some vibes of my hair, kind of. Muted tones of pink, purple and turquoise in this t-shirt. It's not really a print that generally I would wear, but we'll make allowances for the fact this is Dark Arts Month and Halloween. And I would say in those times, yes, I would wear a t-shirt like this. I like the fact it's black because it makes it nice and wearable and I'm sure lots of you guys would like this too. Ooh, I'm gonna take the plastic straight off this. So next we have a lovely notebook. Ooh, I do like this. So this is an A5 notebook with lined pages and we've got this Death Eater skull. I really like this. It's a really pretty notebook and on the back we've got a dark mark. Ooh, and inside, more dark marks. And we even have a little illustration on each of the pages. I appreciate when notebooks go to this extra effort. And on the back, it's even got a little sleeve for you to keep a few little notes, post-it notes in. That's lovely. Wow, okay, there's a lot in here, guys. Oh my goodness. So next up, we actually have the invisibility cloak. Now this threw me off because I have actually unboxed this before, as you know. I have had an invisibility cloak, which I have now given to a younger witch or wizard, wizard in this case. Now I have another invisibility cloak. And do you know what? I think they've done well because they've actually condensed the packaging 
so this one I believe is a child version because it actually says on the back ideal for smaller frame adults and young wizards and witches so it would fit me but I think this one's aimed at a younger audience and I'll probably give this away to somebody I know who's got a child who would enjoy it if you want to see the video of me actually trying out the invisibility cloak I do have one on my channel so you can totally just go and have a little look um, and see what my thoughts were on it it's a really clever piece of kit but I did find it a little bit challenging to kind of get to work in certain lights. So yeah, have a look at that video, which I did last year, but this is awesome. And you can buy this on Amazon. Wow, what is this? Okay, didn't expect this in the box. So this, I am being spoiled today, is a incredible light painting wand. What? It's an elder wand. Now, for one, I love the Elder Wand. I do not have a proper Elder Wand at all. Um, I have one that's a fake from an old Gobstone Alley box, which I do like, but it's not the right colour. This is an actual, look on the back, it paints light. This is just the kind of thing I like. So I will have to clearly work out how this works. I might have to do a separate video on this another time, just so we can discover this together. Um, it includes the batteries, which makes me happy. And it says, relive your favourite moments from the Wisding world with this beautiful rendition of the Elder Wand. Laser scanned from the movie prop, this hand-painted wand is cast in high-grade resin for realism, featuring a super bright LED light tip using conjunction with the bonus free app to create pictures, words, or iconic scenes and share to social media. How fun, try me. That's actually really good. I actually just like this for the wand, so I'll be keeping the wand for definite on display. But the fact it paints light is definitely a bonus to me. Wow, that's my favourite item so far. Okay, next up, I'm cracking up at something right at the bottom of this box. I can't help myself. This is Harry Potter light or lamp. It's definitely Hallows. That's cute and I actually am really happy with the one I got because on the back it does show you all the different ones that you can get. A lot of them are like the chibi characters. I'm not really a fan of the chibi characters at the moment. I've just had enough of them. I feel like merch is, like companies have used them a lot now and I'm just a little bit bored of that style. But the Triwizard Cup is amazing. Um, that's probably my favourite one. This is my second favourite and I bet this looks really good lit up and I've got a bigger Deathly Hallows lamp, so that's amazing. Loving this. Ooh, now we've got a necklace, and the necklace is a dark mark necklace. That that's the kind of thing I would wear because I'm a bit weird like that. Like I'm very girly, but I like odd things that are not girly. For a while, like I was obsessed with aliens, and I often wear like silver and black items of jewellery so that works quite well let's get this out oh it's a choker I was just talking about chokers the other day that's really weird so that's even cooler so this is a choker it's got a little dark mark on it am I holding it the wrong way around potentially here it is that's awesome so there it is and that would look really really good I like that a lot I don't know god I think this has taken my second favourite position now. I really appreciate that. This must be the last thing. What have we got here? So it's not a Hufflepuff, but it is a full Hogwarts robe. That's hilarious. Okay, so what does it come with? It comes with a hooded robe and clasp. And do you know what? I've never had a Hogwarts robe, like ever. Um, so obviously perfect for Halloween because now I've got the wand and I've got the robe. That's pretty cool actually. Yes, so that is in here. Do you know what? I'm going to try it on right now. What can we see here? Hopefully me. So this is my Gryffindor robe. The first time other than that studio tour when I wore a robe that I've worn one. It's very fleecy, so very warm, so it's nice material. It's obviously very long, so it's made for adults. Um, it's feeling a bit like a dressing gown, which is a, a vibe because I could definitely do with a nice cozy dressing gown like this. 
goes right down to my feet. So anyone who's shorter would have this training on the floor. And then we've got this wonderful, ooh, red lined hood. So yeah, it works. I like it. It's a fantastic fancy dress costume. And I feel like a proper Hogwarts student now. Thank you so much to Warner Brothers for sending me those products. I would love to answer any of you guys' questions on them. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favourite product is. And next week, you'll be seeing me for a Week in the Life video. See you very soon. Bye.